glorify and exalt your name express your image let sonship be demonstrated let the lives of your people be liberated we thank you for thine is the kingdom the power the power the power the power the power the power and the glory hallelujah forever and forever amen praise the lord even while you are standing we just want to honor we want to salute the visionary of this great and wonderful move of god that is sweeping across the caribbean islands i want you to know that barbados is not our final stop we started in St. Vincent. We are now in Barbados. We are heading back to Jamaica where the oil will continue to flow. What a vision. This is not a, my, this is not a simple vision to be taking a move of God into different territories, even places where you don't live. Come on, the man of God is taking grounds for Jesus. Can you put your hands together and celebrate Pastor, Prophet, Tevon, Brown, everybody. Come on, celebrate him. The Bible said give honor unto whom honor is due. And the man of God is worthy of double honor. We celebrate you, man of God. We celebrate you. He's my brother, he's my friend. In fact, I'm privileged to call him friend. I'm privileged to call him friend. My God. You see, I know he's called for a time as this. I know that a generation has been waiting for this prophet. And God is going to use him and he's already using him mightily. We also want to honor and salute his beautiful wife, Devonny Brown and the daughter that is sleeping. Come on. Celebrate. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Woo. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. My God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Can you feel his presence? I'm already feeling his presence. But tonight I will teach. <laughs> we, I couldn't teach in St. Vincent. In St. Vincent it was, it was too much. But you see, it's, it's good now, but he's allowing me to teach. So... Is the master, I am the follower, and so we do what Jesus wants to be done. Amen. All right, quickly turn your Bibles to Isaiah 60. We're reading from verse 1 to 3. The theme is, My time is now. And I know that that means different things for different people. But I want you to capture this word tonight I am predominantly a teacher so I want you attentive and sensitive tonight as the Lord will be speaking I want to salute the team that is here all the way from Jamaica the media the intercessors everybody that is here we appreciate every single one of you Amen. You know, I'm in partnership with my brother. We are doing this. The will of God. Listen. If it's the heart of God, I'm with it. And if it means I need to drop my ministry or what I'm doing for the dream of heaven to come to pass, that is what we will do. Eh? It's never about any individual ministry. It's always about the body of Christ. It's about his body. Eh? It's about Jesus. 
Bless the name of Jesus. We want to salute all the leaders, the ministers, the workers, everybody that is here. We, we bless you. We thank you so much for coming out. I, 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 felt, I feel like to do this. It's prophetic, huh? I want you to just lift your hands and just say, thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift up your hands, say, thank you, Jesus. Before he rose Lazarus from the dead, one of the things that he did was he lift up his head and he said, Father, I thank you. Before he multiplied the bread, the fish, the Bible said he lift up his head and he said, my father, I thank you. Come on, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just saw my brother step in. The prophet himself. Prophet Dungo. Come on, put your hands together. And celebrate the prophet of God. Celebrate God's servant. Hallelujah. His, his team is here. I see, I see Minister and Prophetess Michelle. God bless you. It's good to see you again. Thank you so much for coming. We celebrate you, we honor you, and we love you. Huh? Praise the name of Jesus. So we are at Isaiah 60 from verse 1 to 3. The theme is, my time is now. The, my time is now. My time is now. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible declares, arise, shine, for thy light is come. It is not coming. It is here. Ah. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee whew, and his glory shall be seen upon thee and Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Pay attention to that last statement. It says kings don't come to your light. Kings come to the brightness of your rising. Amen? Hallelujah. So my time, you may be seated, everybody. Can you just play the strings softly in the background until we are ready to ascend and flow? My time is now. My time is now. Just, just, just this, the keyboard, please. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, my time is now. It is literally highlighting the fact that we are in a specific season. We're in a specific time. That season, that time might be for the manifestation of God's prophecies or the manifestation of God's promises. In your individual lives, you must know what it is that it is your time for. You must know it, if, if it's the time for you to shift to another level, or it's a time for you to go through a particular door, or it's a time for you to see the manifestation of certain things that God has spoken over your life, or certain promises that God has released to you. But it is interesting for you to know that when your time has come, there are certain things that you need to understand. There are certain things that you need to do. 
And Isaiah was highlighting right here that a particular season is here. He says, your light has come. Which means that the season for visibility is here. The season to be noticed, the season for manifestation is upon you. But in order for you to experience, in order for you to make the most of this particular season, there is something you need to do, and that is you need to arise. See, the whole agenda, the idea is for you to shine. He says, let your light so shine before men because the idea is that God wants to position you in a place where you can glorify his name. So, let your light shine before men that they may glorify your father that dwells in the heavenlies. But in order for you to shine that light, you must learn to arise. That means your rising come before your shining. But the problem is many wants to shine, but they have not yet risen. Don't stop it. Flow. Just flow. Let the pray in tongues for two minutes and flow. Flow. Let the spirit carry you. I like sensitive people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Just keep playing. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. You are not, you are not where I am yet, but flow. Just do your thing. The Holy Ghost will bring you where I am. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Your shining is depend on your rising. And so if you don't rise, you won't shine. It is interesting for you to know that in this kingdom, we don't have broke people. In this kingdom, we don't have sick people. In this kingdom, we don't have defeated people. In this kingdom, we only have ignorant people. And so the sickness, the, the, the defeat, or the poverty you are experiencing is a byproduct of your ignorance. The scripture says, my people perish not because of Satan. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. If you enter Proverbs, the Bible also says that the way of a transgressor is hard. And so if there is hardship in your life, it is not because God is not doing anything. God has already done everything he needed to do. It is your time. So my time is now is also a call for you to wake up. When he says arise, arise here is really talking about three things. The first one is that you need to be awakened. Because the church has been sleeping for a very long time and wondering why they are not stepping into the promised land. So when Isaiah cried, arise, shine. He's telling you, wake up because as long as you are sleeping, your light will be dim. He says, darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness the people. Which is telling you that darkness is multiplying times a hundred. And we have been seeing the increase of darkness. We have been seeing the increase of wickedness, of death, of destruction. We have been seeing the increase... Of the works of darkness.
So my time is now is the first cry of the Spirit. When, he's, when he put this on the heart of the man of God, the first cry of the Spirit is that you must wake up. You have been sleeping for too long. You see, a sleeping Christian is a dead Christian. You are dry, lukewarm. You are insensitive of the moves of the Spirit. You are insensitive of the work of the Spirit. Listen, it is dangerous to be where God was. It is, you can literally miss God if you keep your attention on yesterday. When, when Jesus showed up at the pool where the angel came down and stirred the water, the man of God was, the, 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 the layman, sorry, was so focused on what God was doing, he almost missed what God is doing. And so Jesus said, will you be made whole? He said, there is no man that when the water is stirred to put me in, no, Jesus didn't ask you any question pertaining to the farmer move. He was trying to bring your attention to the place that, listen, yes, the angel moved. Yes, God is in that water. God is moving, but this is something new. He couldn't discern it because he wasn't just crippled. He was sleeping. And he wasn't the only one. The whole of Jerusalem almost was sleeping. And so when Jesus came, the, the very Messiah that they were waiting for, they almost, well, most of them missed him because they are still looking for him to come. When you're a sleeping Christian, it is a very dangerous thing. It is dangerous because not only can you miss the move of God, not only are you putting yourself in danger to, to even lose your salvation, but if you are a sleeping Christian, you'll be a slave to the enemy. If you study carefully, if you look carefully in Matthew 13, I want to read something to you. I have to show you this. Matthew 13 from verse 24, the Bible says, And another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in the field. The Bible says, But while men slept. Watch this. He's talking about the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of God. He says, while men slept, his enemy came and saw tears among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprout up, the Bible says, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears also. So the servant of the household came and said unto him, Sir, this not thou sow good seed in thy field. From whence then hath the tears? He said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while you gathered up the tears, you root up also the wheat with them. Let grow together until the harvest. When you're a sleeping Christian, You will have to watch the agenda of Satan mature in your life as much as God is trying to work in your life. Ah, let me break it down. If you're a Christian that is not awakened to the move of God, and to God, and you're a sleeping Christian, the enemy will enter your life, enter your family, enter your finances, enter your body, enter different areas of your life, plant his seeds in those areas, and you will not be able to do anything about it. Because you, you aren't discerning to, that is why even in the church there are so many people operating in divination but it's hard to get them out. 
Because as church, the watchmen have been sleeping so long that Jude said men crept in unaware. And there are many saying we are prophetic voices functioning from the spirit of divination and many can't see it, can't pick it, can't discern it, much less to get rid of it. Why? Because they were sleeping and because we were sleeping, we have to watch the wheat and the tears grow together. We have to watch the agenda of God and the agenda of the enemy. And this comes straight down to your individual life. Sometimes there are things happening to you. It's because you were sleeping. And that is why one of the first things the enemy will do is fight against your prayer life. Because if you are not a prayerful Christian, you will never stay awake. That's why watching is always connecting to praying. Watch and pray. Be alert. Be awakened. While you pray, you have to, you, you, you have to be awakened. You have to arise. And so Paul said, it is time for you to be awakened. The second cry of the Spirit, the second call, when Isaiah said, arise, it's a call to responsibility. It's a call to responsibility. Can you turn this down a little bit? Turn it down. Thank you, Jesus. Don't, not off, but down. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. A call to responsibility. Now hear me. The graces and the anointings of God on your life. You receive them freely. But they are going to cost you everything to walk in their manifestations. Are you hearing me? The Holy Ghost is saying. The days of lazy Christianity is over. The days where you think you have to depend on the prophet. The days when you think you have to, you must depend on your pastor, depend on your apostle. is over. The Bible says you must work out your own. We are not calling you to selfishness or isolation. But we are calling you back into a place of responsibility. Understand that there is a responsibility dimension to your Christianity. It is your responsibility to know God. It doesn't matter how many seasons come. If you don't know God, you will miss out. In fact, many seasons has come and passed. Because of ignorance. I tell people that many times when you see people advancing in the kingdom, is their ability, number one, to discern seasons. And when they discern the season, I want you to notice about the sons of Issachar. They didn't just know how to discern seasons. The Bible said they know what Israel ought to do. If you discern the season and you don't know what to do, It would be as if the season didn't come. And so you have, to, you have to labor. The God that you and I serve is a dimensional God. He reveals himself in dimension. What if the dimension that he needs to reveal to you so you can be able to manifest it your past and don't know that dimension yet? Your pastor can tell you about the dimension, but he, he still can be in a position where he don't know him in that dimension. And so, what is needed to equip you for certain manifestation, he will not be able to release that unto you. 
And so you can't just depend on the preacher. You have to take responsibility for your life and ascend. You have to take responsibility and labor to know Jesus. Every man in scripture that make impact, whether it is Moses, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Abraham, these men, they know God in different dimensions. And listen, the dimension you know will determine the exploit you can show. Uh. The dimension of God you experience. When I talk about knowing, I'm not just talking about head knowledge. Oh. I'm talking about experiential knowledge. Until you find him and experience those dimensions, you may never be able to manifest the ordination that rests upon your life. You may not be able to manifest the mantle that you receive from the king. We are, we are supposed to be reflectors of God. So every grace, every anointing that he gives to you is to manifest a dimension. That is why when you look and you, you look in the body of Christ, you notice that the generals, they are reflectors of dimensions. When you think about Kenneth e. Hagan, you think about faith. When you think about Benny Hinn, you think about healing. When you think about uh, 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 Miles Monroe, you think about teaching. When you think about catching Kuman, the rivers of miracles. When you think about different men, they, they are manifestors of different streams, different dimensions of God. My question is, what dimension were you called to release? You say it's your time. Your time is no. No for what? You think it's time for house? Ah. You think it's time for car? You think it's time for a husband? Those things... Those things happen to us. Those things happen to us. They are, they are not our calling. They, they happen to us. They are byproduct of us walking with the deity. Of us walking with the almighty. Finding expression and manifestation through our flesh. It is your responsibility to educate yourself on your call. My question is, you're called to be a prophet. Do you know the consecration for your grace? <laughs> Every manifestation is survived by a consecration. And that is why every time you run for impartation and we lay hands on you and you do things for two weeks, after that you're not seeing anything else. Because you never stop to ask us, how do we maintain this? And so I always tell people, when you find that man of God, don't go for the hand first. Go for the wisdom. Ask questions. Because when you know, you see, the, 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 the life you are seeing in any man of God is a byproduct of the mind that they have developed. And so if you gain what is here, it's a matter of time. You will begin to manifest. But we have lazy Christians. We have people that don't want to take responsibility. You will take responsibility in school. Why? Because when you come to church, they keep teaching you only about miracles. Declare it and you receive it. You see, declare it and receive it is not bad. There's a place for that. Are you getting me? But if we are not careful, we will develop people who, 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 who just want to wish. They want to speak, fantasizing and hoping that something is going to happen. They don't know how to make it happen. God is trying to get us to come to a place where we graduate. I have taught people there are two dimensions of faith. 
I've taught you that there's faith in God and there's faith of God. God wants us to function in his dimension, in the faith of God, not faith in him. Faith in him was founded by Abraham. The Bible says Abraham had faith in God and it was accounted unto him for righteousness sake. And so Abraham has been mentoring men for ages about faith in God. And so Isaiah have to believe in God. Jeremiah believed in God. Moses believed in God. That's why even though the, the rod was weaponized, he was still looking to God. God said, what is in your hand? Because he was not yet, he didn't migrate to the next dimension of faith. He was functioning from the Abrahamic faith. And so he was crying, God, what will we do? God says, something is in your hand. I have, I have weaponized the rod. Use it. But when Jesus came on the scene, there is nowhere in scripture you find Jesus crying out, Father, what must I do? No. Jesus didn't cry and ask God to do something. Jesus manifests God. He's calling us to a place where we'll begin to manifest him. And so he said to Peter, if you have faith, as small as a mustard seed, says, and you speak to that mountain and you command it to be removed and you don't doubt in your heart. He says, you will have what you say. He did not say, you must tell the mountain or tell God about the mountain. No. He says, tell the mountain about your God. In other words, when you have a problem, it's okay to operate in the, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me balance this. It's okay to operate in the Abrahamic faith until you grow. Don't condemn yourself. But ultimately, God is trying to get us to a place where when we have certain challenges and complications, we stop crying, but we know what to do. Ah. See? <laughs> Are you understanding what I'm showing you? God is trying to get us to a place where we manifest him. Manifest dimensions. Somebody is sick, they must be able to say, let's call the prophet. Why? Because it is evident that the prophet carried that dimension. When we come to church, the departments we have in church now, that wasn't the department that... You see, the departments that we should have in churches, we should have seers over this side. We should have healers on this side. So when, they, when, when, when somebody wants to know what God is saying, you said, go to the seers. When somebody is sick, you, you, you said, go to the healers. Why? Because in the church, the departments are reflections of dimensions. When you want to know the mind of God, you want wisdom, you said, go to the side. These men are men that carry the mind of God. They carry wisdom. They know how to discern right and wrong, good and evil. And so God is calling us, calling back the church to a place of responsibility. I can impart the gift. I can't impart. My wisdom like that. One of the saddest things in church is many are calling men of God, women of God, fathers and mothers. But they don't know what the father knows. They don't know what the mothers know. You know why? They are too lazy to sit down and play back the tape that is being recorded now to capture. But every time something happens, you know who you call? The same man of God. When the truth is, the solution for your problem is in the teaching. A prophet as a son. And every time something happens and the son calls the prophet. You know what the prophet will do? Find the tape and send it to his son. Why? He wasn't interested in building a babe. He wanted to, he's building a giant. 
He's building somebody that can stand. The body of Christ, most of the body of Christ is at the infant, infantile stage for very long now. Why? Because of Christians who refuse to grow. And sometimes because of men of God who refuse to develop the people. The last thing, the cry to arise is a cry to ascend. When Isaiah said arise, Isaiah was trying to bring our attention to something. Because your assignment is an eternal, it's, it's, it's an eternal assignment. It means that you can't dwell on the earth to fulfill what is eternal. There are moments, there are times that you have to, you have to ascend, you have to leave this realm. I feel like I'm going over some people's head. I'm trying to break this thing down. The assignment, the calling of God on your life is supernatural. It's not natural. And so there needs to be superior wisdom, superior empowerment for the manifestation of what is on your life. So in order to shine the way you are supposed to shine, so the Bible speaks concerning Jesus. It said, they that sat in darkness. The Bible said they saw a great light. The reason why, you see, they, he didn't, it didn't say they saw a light. It says they saw a great light. It means then that Jesus was not just shining. Hi. He was greatly shining. That means he... The, the, I could imagine why we never heard about him from 12 until 30. Because he was spending time rising. He was spending time ascending. He was climbing. Oh, shabrakatoria beskobrakataria soda. The Bible says we have come unto Mount Zion, the city of the living God. My question is, if we have come unto Mount Zion, the city of the living God, where, no, where angels are innumerable, where there are just men that are made perfect, my question is, how is it that we are not seeing them? How is it that we are not experiencing them? How is it that we are not, we are, we, we are, we are not, we are not touching these realities? It's because we're ungrown. Christianity is a journey. Christianity is about exploring the realm of God. And until you begin to explore the realm of God, you will not, you will not see certain things in God. The Bible said are, we, have, we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings, yet you are still praying for them. The Bible says he has given us everything pertaining to life and godliness, yet you are still praying for them. If I give you a phone, why must you still pray for a phone? It's either you don't know you have a phone or you don't know how to use this phone. When Jesus ascended, the Bible says he gave gifts to men. That's a fivefold ministry. He also released his Holy Ghost in you. He gave you authority. He gave you divine life, which is Zoe. He gave you power to cast out demons. He gave you wisdom. He gave you his word. And you are still calling him. You are still asking him to come down off the throne. And you are saying, I don't know what God is doing, you know. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. It's not about what God is doing. What, it's, it's about what you are not doing. 
Jesus is not leaving the throne. No, anytime he leaves that throne, you try to get ready to. <laughs> He's in you, waiting for you to release him. He's in you, waiting for you to know and understand what you have received, what you have, and what you need to know manifest by reason of revelation knowledge. So it's a cry to ascend. And this ascension is ascension in prayer. Do you know you can be praying but not making impact? Do you know you can be praying but not exploring? Many people pray but when they pray they are praying in the same place. They have not left where they are in the house. When you pray, even if your physical body is dear, spiritually, you must be taken. Prayer is journeying in God. There are dimensions to prayer. And until you govern the understanding of prayer, you will not receive the power See, the Bible said Jesus prayed. And as he, the man of God prayed, it says the fashion of his countenance began to be altered. Do you know what was happening? He was journeying and exploring his father. That the glory he was beholding, he was becoming. God is light. And so as he behold light, light began to manifest from his garment. Because in Ephesians, uh, sorry, 2 Corinthians, the Bible says, as we behold him in a glass, we are changed into the same image. The reason why you're not being transforming and transfiguring is because you're not being beholding. And to behold, you have to be journeying in prayer. Isaiah, not Isaiah, but Moses, and the next prophet that they saw on the mount, that Jesus saw, they were, they, were, they, were, they were existing in that realm. They were there. You know what happened? Jesus journeyed to where they were. So when the Bible said they appeared, it was Jesus who went into their realm. It wasn't them coming into Jesus' realm. Right. Why? Because we are already, we have come to Mount Zion. We are there. We are there. But we need to explore the dimensions of Zion. We need to explore the dimensions of God. Angels are in this room now. But why is it that some can see the angel and some are not? It's because some is standing at a dimension while some is at a lower dimension. When you end, you will begin to explore different realities. And realize that there are worlds beyond worlds. Even in this world. And so God is calling us, number one. To wake up. Realize that you are in the last days. There is darkness over the face of this earth. There is gross darkness. That means the people are becoming more wicked after. Realize that in order to shine the way you need to shine, there is, there is a responsibility dimension to your Christianity. You have to wake up to it. You have to know that even though God has put a man or woman of God over you, the amount of things you need to know to manifest, they will not be able to teach you everything you need to know. Even in the time that you need to manifest. If you need to manifest within a year and all you do is come to church on Sunday, think about six days you are missing out. And things that you could learn quickly to ensure the manifestation within a year. And the last thing, God is calling us to ascend in prayer. Can you stand to your feet, please?
there are three things. Those are the three things that the Lord put on my heart. Wake up. Wake up. When the Spirit of God wake you up in the morning, stop going back to sleep. It's a sign that you are sleeping. In fact, if the Lord wake you up to pray and you go back to sleep, sleep was a sin that morning. We're about to pray. And the way we're going to pray tonight, we need to touch something. We need to touch something. That means we need to leave this auditorium. But in order for you to leave this auditorium, you, need, you have to allow the spirit to carry. You can't go by yourself, flesh and blood. You, you see, it's not by might. It's not by power. It's by the spirit. You cannot ascend. It's a spirit that will take you. Hold your hands together, please. Hold your neighbor's hand. Quickly. Who is the person that is having a pain right here? Come, quickly. Who is the person that is having a pain behind the neck? Behind the neck here. Who is that person, quickly? Huh? There's a, I don't know if the person is online, but there's a word of knowledge I'm receiving. Somebody having a pain behind the neck here. Somebody having a pain in the knee. Who is the person? Knee. Knee issue. Especially the left one. It comes and it goes quickly. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I want to do this quickly and then we pray. Father, we worship you. Can you just increase me with the sound now quickly? Yeah, Come on, lift it up. Lift it up, lift it up. Ah.
Shato Rebeka Toriaba Satari, Epa Toriaba Sebra Katoriaba Hai. Hey, hey, Yashu. Yours is the kingdom, and yours is the kingdom. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power, is the glory for. Yours, yours. Is a power. Yours is a kingdom. Is a power. One more time, yours! Yeshua! Yeshua! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You say you have pain right here? The Lord is about to heal you right now. Thank you, Jesus. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a visa between those two ladies there. Yes, right here and the other lady, both of you. I'm seeing a visa, I'm seeing a passport, and I'm seeing a visa between both of you right there. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This leg here is this side. This side. Stamp your leg on the ground three times quickly. Just stamp your leg on the ground three times. Stop. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lift up your leg. Check it, please. Lift up your leg. <laughs> eh? Eh? Huh? Really? If I come down, I'm affecting the camera. Huh? Or should I call them up? I can come down. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. What were you saying? Is it in your stomach? Here in your stomach. Okay. How long have you been having it? This couple months, but this is the worst that it's been. Is the worst? Yeah. Okay. Today. Have you been to the doctor? No, you believe in God to heal you. Which one? You never go to the doctor because you're afraid or you were just believing God to heal you? Both, actually. Old-fashioned? Both, actually. Oh, both, actually. Okay. Father, we thank you. You spirit of infirmity, come out! Just hold my hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is healing somebody from the neck, going down to the back of the spine. There is a miracle taking place. Is the person online? Is that? Okay. Thank you, Lord. From the Hallelujah. neck. Oof. Wow, the power of God just hits you now. Hallelujah. That's it. It's getting stronger now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing you right now. He's moving what the enemy has planted in your body. He's taking it out now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Check, press the area. The pain is there. It's not as sharp. Was there any growth there or just pain? Just pain. Okay, I command all of it to leave you now. Just lift up your hand like this. Come out. Come out. Leave her now. You spirit. Leave her life now. Now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Can I ask you a question? Have you been married before? Yes? Divorce? I saw, you see, this spirit that I'm praying against now, this spirit messed up your marriage. Because as I'm praying for you, I saw a ring in the realm of the spirit. Because spiritually, this spirit is operating as if it owned you. And, uh, I saw a ring, but then I saw the spirit snatch your ring and began to laugh. The one in the red here, I see the passport and the visa landing on you. Are you planning to travel? You are? All right, I'm coming back for you. Shatura Mazuke. Was your marriage connected to the states? Not yet. Yesterday I asked you about New York. The reason why I asked you about New York is because when you were standing there, I saw New York at the tip of your toe. And I'm seeing like a transitioning. See, the Lord is about to do something for you. I want you to say to yourself, my time is now. Say, my time is now. It's not a coincidence that you are in this room. Lift up your hands. There's a power that is going to come. I need to, we need to deliver you. We need to break something. Can you? 
Stretch your hands to her. Say, her time is now. Say, her time is now. See, I'm not hearing you yet. You're still, you, some of you still, some of you still sleeping. But as I'm prophesying to her, I'm also prophesying to you. What, what, uh, they're not ready for this thing. Yeah, you're not ready for the prophetic. Do you have children? Oh, money. Two? Boy? Boy and girl? <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. The Lord is about to do something for you. And there's a breakthrough connecting to New York. There's a breakthrough connected to New York. But before you go to New York, we need to break something from your life now. Huh? And hear me. Don't allow the fear of the past to hinder your future. The Lord said, what's in the past is in the past. That's why he's delivering you from it now. You will not marry and fail again. You had a fear of this thing. The Lord said to tell you, you will not marry and divorce again. Your time is now. Lift up your hands, please. Father, we thank you. I judge the altar that is fighting this woman. I send fire to that altar. Hey. I remove this one. Nebendua zidi kesuka paraba asembre katoa zidi aketa emborembe kazata ya. Woman of God, when I lay my hands on you, you will be free from the spirit. Adem brake. Can you pray in the spirit, everybody? Shada brake. If you can pray in tongues, begin to pray. Shada re. Come on, lift up your voice. Kapara deshke. Fade. Fight for her like you are fighting for yourself. Imparendesh kabra kataria besute, imparandosh kebranda rin bedezi, manduve zete jekadi, emparas keva, Spirit of God, adempe lebrando zadar, ke atai e, sada da badoje talia batoria, sandampe lepali, kande vahadi ampalos. Embezatalias. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Sadas vadebe, mazumpeles kevaris. Sadam palos, impeles zidia seke. Adam parempe. Fire! 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 Go! 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 Now! 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 Fire! 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 Release this one! Fire! Release this one! Fire! Release this one! Out! Jesus! Jesus. Jesus. It's your time. Be free now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 
Check, the pain is gone. You're free. Check, check it. Oh, you know. All right, God bless you. You can go to your seat. Put your hands to Jesus. Sir, you in the color, are you with this man? Come. I see the Lord is about to open a door for you, international door. Qu question, are you currently looking about a visa? You have the visa, but you're planning to travel. No, you're planning to travel. Huh? I'm seeing two options in the realm of the spirit. I don't know if your mind is between these, huh? But I'm seeing two options. I'm seeing the States and I'm seeing the UK. I'm seeing the States, but I'm also seeing the UK. I'm seeing these two places. I'm seeing these two places. It's as if an option is placed before you. Hallelujah. There's a blessing that is connecting, connected to your travel. When you travel, there is a person you're going to meet. There's a destiny connection is about to take place. Are you in business? You're stepping back into business. This connection I'm seeing, it is going to create opportunity for the manifestation of your business. Because I'm seeing favor being released to you. I'm seeing favor. I don't know what. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Where are you traveling? Where are you traveling to? Ah. Okay. So she have two trips, huh? Planning. One for the states. I want for Dominica Republic. I didn't see Dominica Republic. I saw UK. Hmm. However, hear me. Hallelujah. I don't know where you plan to go, but I'm seeing God is going to set you up with somebody from Georgia. Georgia. You know Georgia. You know Georgia in the United States, huh? There is a woman. 
that is currently in Georgia in the United States, the Lord is going to connect you with that woman. And I'm seeing conversations taking place. And this woman is going to be like a source of, it's like a connection to, to, to source things that you're going to need for business. Huh? Why are you smiling? You have a prophecy of your life? Uh huh. Distributing. Uh, yeah, we yeah we need to get our mic because we need to hear these nice things. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening a door. This woman that you're gonna meet, she's a door. She's a door. She's a door through many doors. You know, there are people you meet, they are the destiny helper. But then there are people you meet, they are the destiny connector. So this one, she's a destiny connector. Huh? <laughs> so, 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 treat her well. She's going to connect you with a lot of people. And it is connected to your business. I see, I see you selling different things. I see you in fashion. I see you in different things, selling different things. And I'm seeing these things being shipped. I'm seeing, I'm seeing destiny connection. Eh? Lift up your hands. Father, we thank you for grace. The Lord is also touching your body. Any area of concern to you, the Lord is healing you right now. Father, we thank you. There's a grace coming on you. Between you and that lady, is any of you, lady, gray, is any of you 38 years old? Huh? You are? You are 40? You are much. <laughs> huh? Okay. I'm seeing the number 38. Huh? I'm coming to that number. I'm seeing the number 38. Lift up your hands. Father, we thank you. The grace to prosper. The grace for wealth. The anointing for visibility. I declare her time is now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Take that anointing. It rests upon her now. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It rests. It rest, it rest, it rest. It rest upon her now. That glory descended now. Two, three. Touch! Jesus! Oh! That glory, that, that, that anointing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Sir, as you were standing there, an angel came and stand beside you. Huh? That's why I called you. Because the angel was highlighting you. The Lord is about to raise you up. There's two things I'm seeing. Hold up both of your hands. Hold up both of your hands. Turn them down. I don't want nobody to say I'm you know these days, the prophetic, <laughs> you have to be careful. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm seeing two things over your head. I'm seeing business on one side and I'm seeing ministry. The Lord has blessed your hands, but does that thing need to be made manifest? Manifest, manifest, manifest. There's a great light I'm seeing. Where's your mother? 
Where is home? Centurion. Do your mother, is your mother having any complication with her breast, her left one? Not to my knowing. Huh? Not to my knowing. Not to your knowledge. No. In the realm of the spirit, as I began to prophesy you, I saw a woman looking like your mother popped up. And the Lord began to highlight the left part of her body, specifically the breast area, that there's an issue there. The Lord is healing that issue. You can contact your mom when you're done or tomorrow, whenever. The Lord is healing your mother. But apart from that, at birth, I saw a great light over you. You have heard this before? Yeah. I saw a great light at birth, a light that came. It's like, it's like the heaven was signifying something. It's like the heaven was amplifying something over you. There's a divine blessing on your life, but you have not yet stepped into it. Because there's a calling on you. There's a calling. I'm seeing ministry and I'm seeing business. I encourage you, stick close to the prophet. Learn. I was listening to a man of God. And another man of God said to him, I'm like sponge. I go take up everything that you have. Be like a sponge. Eh? Soak everything you need to soak up. Because your time is coming. Where that light that once shone, shone over your head is coming to shine again. But this time, it, it is going to be shining through you. Not on you. Not on your head. Through you. So the Lord is speaking to you now. So it's time for you to get ready. Ready yourself. Prepare yourself. Do what you need to do. Because there's a call on your life. The Lord is going to bless you. is also healing somebody in your family with the left leg. I'm seeing poor blood circulation. The person left leg. The Lord is healing that leg. Father, we thank you for this man. Bless him. In Jesus' name. Lady, can you stand, please? You. This one, this lady, come. This one, come. Hold my hand. Uh, you're cold. Uh, a little. Uh, uh, just, just release this one. Yeah. yeah. Just hold my hand. I'm seeing a lamp in your belly. It's a lamp for intercession. But I'm seeing, I don't know which area you're from. I'm seeing a witch actively fighting against your life. Eh? Constantly. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Constantly. Do you want to go home the same? No. Eh? Mm -mm. to impart you with something. It's prayer. Mm -hmm. huh? It's mm -hmm. prayer because you need to defeat this, <laughs> this thing. Mm -hmm. huh? Too long. Father, we thank you. Mm. Now I'm putting your altar on fire and I'm sending you to fight tonight. Huh? Tonight. You ready? Lift up that hand quickly. Father, we thank you. We, we don't want that chair. Better you catch. Come, come. Remove that thing. A sister. A sister. We don't want that. 
Father, we thank you. I'm going to release something on you now. When I count to three, and tongues is going to bubble up out of your belly, the Lord is sending you to that altar. You will see that woman in the spirit, and there will be a war. It is starting now. Kaswas. Kentes. That's it. One, two, three. Enter. Fire. 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 Hey. Car you are. Sanda. Lebran die. Kende. Kanda. Ote. Fade. Leba. Sun. A. Pe. Kata. Sato. Ke. Zemba. Ridia. Ombelia. Eya. Ya. Ya. Sanda. Maledo. Impale. Kandeya. Mentia. Sandua. Palace. Mende. 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 Lift up your hand. You will not be able to quench this. Because this is something to defeat a witch that wants to defeat your family. It's not my job to kill that witch for you. It's your job to kill it. Fire! Hey! Atobre Kataria Imparaske Bahai Kempala Skebari Manto Rebete Praya 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 Embariataya If I were you I lift my hands and receive the grace for prayer Hey 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 Shada Lebrato Empeles Kapal Eya Basobra Kataria Sede Yada Dabadwa Shada The Lord is also putting an anointing on you. Lift up your hands, please. When you go back to Jamaica, there's a burden that was going to put on your heart in the place of prayer. Spiritually, when I look at you, I saw a golden crown that was removed from your head. But I saw it coming back. The Lord is about to restore some things for you. Some things that you have lost. But the Lord said to tell you that you have not started praying yet. You are praying. But the dimension to which God is going to take you after tonight... The Lord is mixing your intercession with the prophetic. You will have spiritual perception. It means that you will see what to pray. You will know what to pray. You will hear what to pray. The 
heart of God will be communicated to you. Father, we thank you. There is also an altar that you need to defeat. And the Lord is giving you the capacity. And he's giving you the grace. Father, we thank you. As I count to three, release this anointing on her head. Hallelujah. One. Two. Three. Fire! Take that anointing. That's it. Take that anointing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Even tonight, the Lord is giving her a burden tonight. Burdens, burdens. Thank you, Jesus. Do we have a doctor or a nurse in the room? Huh? Any doctor, any nurse? You? You are the only one? Huh? I guess I'm seeing a promotion. I'm seeing a blessing for a doctor or a nurse. I don't know. I, mean, I see the uniform, but I don't know who is doctor and who is nurse. I mean, we never studied that field. Eh? So I just say doctor or nurse. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. But I'm seeing a mighty promotion. The Lord is about to favor you, woman of God. And I'm hearing the Lord say, great is your faithfulness. Even in good times, even in bad times, you remain faithful. The Lord has not forgotten you. Actually, is literally opening the book of remembrance for you in this season. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And you will not just be promoting in the natural, but also in the spirit, prophetically. Father, I thank you. Oof. Man of God, I'm seeing you under a tent in Uganda. I don't know if you're planning to go back there to do a crusade. You're planning it. I'm seeing you I'm seeing you under a tent. A tent. This is outdoors. I'm seeing a tent. I'm seeing a large tent. And I'm seeing you standing. I'm seeing you ministering. And I'm seeing a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people. The Lord's going to use you to bless your people. I don't know when you plan to do this thing, but I am seeing you going there with a strange fire, like, like a fire. I'm seeing a fire. I'm seeing a fire going with this man. Ah, I'm seeing a fire. Litter is like revival fire. I'm seeing fire. Fire. Going with you. And I'm seeing, oh my, oh my God. I'm seeing you doing miracles. 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 Oh, the Lord is opening you up to the miraculous. I'm seeing, I'm seeing strange supernatural miracles manifesting. I'm seeing people getting up out of the wheelchair. Literally. I'm seeing people chew, dropping the crutch. Literally. The Lord is getting ready. Huh? He is getting ready. I'm telling you. I don't know. 
But there's a burden that, is, that has been put on this man hard for Uganda. Is this lately or is it a long time thing? The burden. Long time. I'm seeing a burden. Eh? It's about to increase. The burden is that because that burden is going to take you somewhere in prayer. That burden is about to take you somewhere in prayer, man of God. I'm telling you. Oh my God. I'm also seeing something. You're going to minister to, to somebody on phone. 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 Huh? What am I saying? What am I saying? To somebody. <laughs> Two persons. <laughs> I'm seeing you prophesying and ministering to two persons on your phone. And I'm seeing those two persons turning out to be financial partners. Financial partners. The Lord said to tell you, I'm about to raise up financial partners. 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 See, I know you are here in Barbados, but trust me, I'm seeing a lot of your work being done back home. You are here, but I'm seeing you a lot in Uganda. How are you? You're great. Hi. You are here now, but I'm seeing a lot of your work being done in Uganda. In Uga I don't know what the Lord is telling you. I don't know what he's saying to you, huh? But I'm telling you, I'm seeing, a, I'm, I'm seeing a great move in Uganda. I'm seeing you. See, sometimes the way God does things, it will, it will look as if you are regressing, you know. But in that, in the, in the physical, it looks like a regression. But trust me, it's progression. Get ready. Get ready. The Lord is about to shift things in your life in three months' time. In three months. When are you planning to go back? No. Very soon. He's, 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 he's going to do something. The Lord is about to do something. Get ready for a mighty shift and a mighty move of revival fire in Uganda. I'm seeing a lot of young people I'm seeing a lot of people around you. I'm seeing them gathering under the tent. The tent. And I'm seeing a mighty move of God. Celebrate Jesus for this man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Mommy in the green, can I pray for you? Stand. Yes. I see an attack over your head. Huh? I'm seeing the enemy wants to attack you. I'm seeing like pains, like migraines, and I'm seeing like dizziness. Hmm? Have you been having that lately? It's on and off. Yeah, I'm seeing that attack. The Lord wants to heal you now from it. Hmm? Come quickly. Let me tell you, when I stand before somebody, don't take 10 years to come off. They might not fall, huh? but at the same time, we don't want them to, we don't want the power to fall and then you are not there to see. <laughs> please, please. Oh, I told you to stand, huh? Ah, yes. Ah, good, good girl. Thank you, Lord. What they have sent to plague you, I send it back. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Your blood pressure will be normalized. Father, we thank you. Now, there is power entering your body to heal you now. Touch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Can you come, please? What time is this? Lift up your hands. I'm coming. I'm seeing favor on you. Look like you were waiting on me. Eh? <laughs> it's like she was just waiting. Like this guy just passing me by. Hmm? I'm seeing favor on you. for you as if it wants to pull you back. Pull you back. Spiritually, this is something literally fighting against your Christianity. I'm seeing this thing wanting to pull you back from where you're coming from. And that is why many times things, situations come up that, that, that manifest the old man. I'm seeing you see your, your mouth, huh? your mouth, your mouth. That mouth. Ha, spicy. <laughs> spicy, eh? Spicy. Hear me. You will not go back. You will only go forward. The Bible says the path of the just, eh? It's a shining light. It only gets brighter. You're not going back. We, we, we're going we're gonna to release you from that thing. Because there's a there's a prophetic evangelical call that is on your head that must be made manifest. The Lord wants to give you influence because I see that, that, that the Lord can use you to pull many into this kingdom. Many into this kingdom. And that is why this thing has been, it just keep pulling, just keep pulling, just keep pulling, just keep pulling. Tonight, we set you free by fire. Tonight, we set you free by fire. Tonight, we set you free by fire. Tonight, ah! Chateau! Imbeles Capra! Shadambarantua Pacasco! Now, break! Now, break! Now, break! Now, break! Now, break! Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Everything, let her go now. 
in Jesus name in Jesus name Unless you don't want to, then I would understand. All right. That's the favor I'm seeing coming on your life. I'm seeing that favor coming on your life. I, I see a ring spinning over your finger. The Lord is opening up that season for you. You know? These are touchy subjects I want to speak <laughs> are you invited <laughs> oh lord jesus come here thank you jesus Can you stand, sir? <laughs> Father, we thank you. The spirit of the water will not hold this one. Mando rebicadas. Old appetite die. Old appetites die. Old appetites die. Shadam barendo sike parandes imbarondes katariabis. A fire, 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 Jesus. Uh, do you know this young lady? You do? All right, let's stand beside her, please, quickly. <laughs> you know this man? You do? Y your eyes are open, prophet. <laughs> That's the kind of friend you need, okay? They are securing your prophecy. <laughs> well, you know, it's good. It's good because you told her to do that. It's illegal. You owe me. Just kidding. <laughs> the Lord is getting ready to open marriage. Are you ready? You, you sure? Are you ready for marriage? Eh? You believe so? Ah. I, I'm seeing fire connecting both of you. Eh? I'm seeing fire connecting. When I called her, when I, I, first I saw a favor on her. I didn't know what favor. Huh? But when I looked back, I saw a ring spinning over her finger. And the Lord said, that's the favor of marriage. And then I saw a fire. These are sensitive things. I don't like prophesying people with them because you see heart, heart, hi. Emotions and heart. Hey. But hear me. Hear me. Hear me by the spirit. <laughs> Pray for me, okay? Mommy Zion. <laughs> Pray for me. The Lord is about to birth something. It's gonna be beautiful. See, this is not just for love. This is assignment. Because I'm seeing, see, 
if the will of God is manifest, I'm seeing both of you building something. It's a company. Something that will stand tall. <laughs> She's happy. He's still thinking. He's, he's processing. You know, yes. The process very well. Process very well. Sir, I see wealth, money, and both of you. Money. Serious money. And both of you. When you when you seal this thing, oh my God, the heaven will rejoice. Are you are you currently in um, any entrepreneur business? You, you are not yet. Huh? You as well. Now I see both of you building something together. It will not be normal. It will not be normal. I'm seeing him. I'm seeing speed on his finger. I don't know what you do with those hands, eh? But I'm seeing speed on your finger. Eh? Hey. What do you do? <laughs> Listen, God is getting ready to bless you and bless you. Sir, behold your woman. Woman, behold your man. She prayed, yes, confirmation was being prayed for, you know. Now it is coming openly. There shall be no doubt. I don't know both of you. And, and she never tell me nothing when she did up herself. <laughs> she didn't tell me anything. It was a progression in the spirit. I saw a favor on you. Then I turned and I saw a ring. And I turned and I saw a fire. See, the confirmation that you need is here. The Lord is establishing something. The Lord is establishing something. And I'm seeing you guys living very wealthy, very good, good lives. Very good lives. I'm seeing a white house, white. White. Now, it's not the board one. I'm seeing like solid structure. White. 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 I see, I know Bobby doesn't have a lot of hill and a lot of. But I'm seeing this thing on a hill, close on a hill. And I'm seeing a white, white. And it's not one square thing. The Lord is about to bless you guys seriously. Yeah? I'm seeing serious money coming into your hands. Coming into your hands. The Lord is waiting on a certain establishment. This, this is what the Bible says. He that finds a wife, find it a good thing. Not just good thing, obtain favor. Hi. You have found a good thing. Huh? <laughs> I say, you have found a good thing. Trust me, she's a good one. I, I, if I said, no, no man by the flesh. I don't know her by the flesh. I know her by the spirit. Yeah. You have found yourself a good one. And this is important to you. Don't like going into pass, but I'm seeing a pass. So this, what I'm saying, she's a good woman, is important to you. That's what I say, I already say. I say a lot that I didn't say. Huh? I, just, I don't like going into people's past sometimes when I'm prophesying. I just... So, so what I'm saying mean a lot to you. Don't be afraid. It's, it is well. Be at peace. 
you, you have something? Sir, congratulations. congratulations. You bless God for me. <laughs> lift up, lift up your hand, Father. We thank you. Favor. Favor. Ah! Favor. Favor. I also open the prophetic dimensions. You're a dreamer. You're a dreamer. The Lord speaks to you a lot in dreams. There are things that you see and there are some that you don't even see. I'm seeing dreams and there's a dream connecting to God can do this, you know. <laughs> Father, favor. Favor. See, the prophet, prophet, you say you want to say something? When I'm done, done, done. Okay. The man of God will do something, huh? I'm still having a sharp pain on my shoulder. Who's the, who, have, who having a pain in the shoulder? Check online if the person is not in the house. You hand that uh, under your shoulder blade, right here, constantly. All right, so the Lord will heal you of this, but this is not the one I'm talking about. <laughs> Fire. Go. <laughs> this is just amazing. Hmm? Okay. Father, we thank you. Be free from this infirmity now. That's the power of God all over you. Receive. Receive. Thank you, Jesus. Oof. It's gone. You can check your shoulder. Come on, can you put your hands together for Jesus, everybody? I'm going to release the man of God. Yes, sir. Put your hands together for Jesus, everybody. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. You finish? You done? You done? You done? Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus one more time, everybody. God is good. And all the time, God is good. We give God thanks. Put your hands together for the prophet as well. Amen. We want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Amen. To Prophet and uh, Prophetess, we know that they're having um, uh, prior services. And we thank you for, for gracing us with your presence. Amen. If you're here tonight and you're not a Christian, wave your hand. You're not a Christian or you're a backslider. You don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Wave your hand. There's no need to be ashamed. Not a Christian? Okay. All right. Daddy, not a Christian. Anybody else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Go in J. Go in E. Go in S. Go in U. Go in S. Okay. Is a specific reason why I asked if there are any. Um, Daddy, come let us pray for you, all right? Okay. Do you have children? Mm. You have one? Okay. 
How many should you have had? How many should you have had? How many should you have had? Come this side, Daddy. Three, right? Okay. You notice I didn't ask you how many you want? Do you notice I didn't ask you how many do you want? Ask you how many you should have had? Three, right? Okay. And you still want three? Hmm? Now you have one already? Yes. So you need two more? You need two more? All right. How many children do you have now? How many should you have had? Three. Okay, that means you have one present and two are not present. Okay, I'm asking you if you want the two that are not present. Do you want two more children? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Daddy, thank you for coming, okay? Put your hands together for Daddy, everybody. No, stand up is the reason why I ask. The, the first child you have now is by the grace of God that you have that child. This child you have now. The other two that should have come, there is something that wants to affect your womb that you do not have any more children okay the reason i'm saying this to you is so you will know how to pray all right when they get you married no i have to ask the man he has the answer huh when they get you married are you not ready for that part when god is ready <laughs> You sure you want to say that? <laughs> okay. God can't say tomorrow, you know? You know, you can't say next month. You know? The best answer I will, I will say to you is say that you are putting things together. That makes sense, right? You are organizing things. Pray for your womb, okay? Pray for your womb. Pray for your womb. Pray that, that God will cause whatever would want to eat your children will not be able to. All right? Pray that prayer. Um, and pray for your your in his, uh, uh -huh, uh, pray for your relationship agreement. Agreement? Pray for your communication and your agreement and how you communicate. Pray for the, the, the strength of your relationship. Okay? Pray for that strength. Um, Prophet said some stuff. And I'll, I'm just going to say a few. Glory be to God. All right. We're back. Glory be to God. Pray for that. All right? Um, there's somebody. What's your name? What's your name? Kibibi? As in Kibibi? Or oh, not a pet name, that's your actual name? Kibibi. Okay, so what's your name? Don't tell me GGG. <laughs> <laughs> what's your name? Ju Ju? Julius. Okay. And what's your name again? Oni On Onika and... Regina. Okay. Um, I'm going to say something to you, to Kibibi and, and Juju, Julius. Um, be, very, be very careful, and I'm saying this for you not to be paranoid, but to be wise. There is, there is someone with the name, the, I won't call the name, but the person has the name, no, the name starts with the letter L. Okay? Be very careful of that person. That, that individual is a sword that wants to come between and cause division. 
Okay, yeah, don't, don't, don't pressure it. Okay? You have to make sure, look at me. Self can control. Is there a reason I'm saying this to you? Self. Right, Julius? Self. Self. Can what? Control. There's something in Jamaica, it's, um, this is how we say it. There's a phase that people get to when they're upset that they go dark. They all reasoning, they don't want to hear nothing else and all that. Self can control. Okay? Self control. When enemies appear, it is not that it is not to show you that you are weak. To show you, to show you that you are strong. Okay? Unity, agreement, understanding, patience. If you master those things, you'll be fine. Okay? When is your birthday? July? Which is July gone? Okay. Is your birthday falling on a Saturday next year? Let me know. Which day is it? Sorry. The eighth, July eighth. Which day is it? Is that Tuesday? All right. You 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 have a choice. You have a choice. You say when God says so. <laughs> you have a choice to to get married on your birthday. Okay. The number eight means new beginning. And this thing. God wants to also do for you. He wants to start something fresh and new in your life. There is a mark that is moving from you. There is a mark. I'm seeing your father, and there is a mark that is moving from you. There is something that affected your father, and God wants to move that mark from you. Okay? So every time you get to your birthday, it is called new beginnings. You know what number seven means? Completion. When God completes something, he doesn't start or he doesn't continue it. So you are actually on prophetic days. All right? So God is going to favor you and favor both of you. All right? So self. Self. Control. I'm just emphasizing it. All right? Self. Control. The person in your life now or not? Oh, I won't tell you that. Because I don't want you to go home and say, go to your contact list and start this. And I won't tell you if it's a real name or a pet name. Just know. <laughs> just, just self control. Amen? Amen. Daddy? Jesus loves you. Okay? Jesus loves you. Who invited you? Key Bibi? You invited him? Oh, okay, okay. Who invited you? You just came inside? Okay, you're tired of the world now? Still caught up with the world? You want to leave the world alone? All right, we want to pray for you. Amen. We want to pray for you. We want to pray for you. Jesus loves you, and God wants to change your story. Thank you, Lord. Everybody, point your hands towards him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father, thank you for your son. Thank you that you are changing his story tonight. We pray, O oh God. Hallelujah. Prophet, where is your church again? Where is the church located again? The, which one is closest to here? Robert Street. Daddy, do you live, do you live um, in, the, in the area? Oh, St. Hmm? Philip. Philip. Oh, how far is, is it still far? St. Philip? That's far? Is it closer to you? It's far. Uh -huh. Where is your church? 
Huh? Where is your church? Who has a church in St. Philip? It's close to Pastor Jones. Okay. All right. The first thing you're going to do, all right, Daddy? Is go to church. All right? <laughs> Listen to me. They have set disappointment over you. That nothing should work for you. Okay? It's only God can break the spirit of disappointment from you. Are you tired of the world? You want to give it up? You want to give it up? Are you ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Amen. He said yes. <laughs> Amen. Okay? The first thing you're going to do, find, uh, go to church on Sunday. Okay? Go to church. This is, a, this is an instruction, all right? If you obey this simple instruction, then certain things will begin to turn. Okay? Go to church on Sunday. Don't sit at the back. Find a seat either at the middle or the front. And stay there until the service is over. Okay? I'm seeing you like somebody who is not able to stay somewhere for long. Moving, 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 moving. Go to church. Can you do that? Can you do that? Okay. Um, we're going to take your number and we're going to call you Sunday to make sure that you're at church Sunday. Amen? Amen? Father, thank you for your son. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior in Jesus' name. Take full control of my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Daddy. Have a seat at the front. Amen. Let us stand, everyone. It's offering time. Let us stand, everybody. It's offering time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Please take your offerings out. It's offering time. Uh -huh. um, which, which, which one of you is planning on doing a uh, what is this thing called? Um, is, uh, which one is your plan to go, go back to school? Who's plan to go back to school? School. Who? Nobody? Who? You? Okay, what are you going back to do? Software engineering? That's what, like a degree, a doctorate, master's? What, master's? Okay. All right. You... Do you know the amount, the amount of money you need? Well, you know, you know the amount. Um, uh, okay, when, when, when are you supposed to start? Three weeks time. Okay, have you paid everything? But you need to finish before three weeks. Okay, come out here, sir. Bring three keys. Are you coming tomorrow? Are you coming tomorrow? Take three keys with you. Three brand new keys. If you can get three gold ones, bring three of them. Okay? Get a ring and take it tomorrow. I'm talking too fast. Get, get, get a ring. Okay? Three gold keys, take it tomorrow. We want to pray for you that God. Ah! Amen. Amen. Prophet, you agree, right? You agree. We want to pray for you that you will, these monies will be paid so you can start, you will continue, and that you will finish, all right? I know school can be school, but God will give you grace, all right? Be focused. Don't be distracted. Here is a principle I'll give to you. Every time you are to study, always pray first, Okay? This is the prayer. Lord, open my mind to understand. When you pray that prayer, study, study. And if they recommend you to be the um, valedictorian, take it. Okay? And after you finish, if the next thing that you need to do is to go overseas, go. And then come back. All right? There are major things that God is going to do for you. You are going to be... You are going to have serious money, but people won't know. 
based on how you operate. Yes, Lord. Open your hands. Father, thank you for your son. Thank you for the favor that's about to hit him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Is your daughter? Your daughter-in-law? Okay. In school? Not in school? Why? Is she out of school? Hmm? You're supposed to be in school. You're supposed to be in school. When did you leave school? I come in, Uncle Domu. When, when did you finish school? 2021. You should be in school. There is something haunting her, you know, this thing. And this thing that is haunting you, if you have any intention in your mind to get another tattoo, don't. Don't what? Don't get another tattoo, especially in that place you are planning to get it. If you get that tattoo, Mm, 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 mm. But can we can we just have uh, eight more minutes? We're doing we're doing um Julius's birth, birthday eight. <laughs> Don't get that tattoo. And there is a young lady God is going to break from your life. That you need to stop hanging around. Stand up. I don't know you know. Okay, but you have to be careful. Because. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. How old are you? 18? 19? And you say she's your daughter, daughter in law? Okay, our daughter in love. Daughter in love? Amen. The Bible said the law, kill it. <laughs> uh, you, uh, who's, who's child, whose child is that? Your child. You are. You have any kids? You are not ready for anything called children, eh? I'm saying that to say something. Are you hearing me? Huh? If I were you, I would go into, I would do what COVID did to the entire world. What did it do? Lockdown. May the Lord give you understanding. Open your hands. You know, you're going to be a good father, you know. You're going to be a good, good, good dad. Good, good daddy. Hmm? <laughs> She's just, just excited. Hear me, hear me. There is something that is haunting you down. And this thing that is haunting you down has visit you, visited you even in your dreams. You need to... Are you a Christian? Huh? You sure? Hey... Are you a Christian? I'm going to ask you again. Are you a Christian? You are sure? Okay. She says she is. Be very careful. Okay? Don't take any more what? Any more what? And do what, do what, do what COVID did? Lock what? Okay. Your destiny is bright. But you keep on finding yourself in the wrong hands. You need to pray. Okay? Pray. All right? Huh? And be very careful what you wear on the road. Father, thank you for your son. Thank you for favor, for grace. Let every bill be paid. Shadimbe usidariga suteva. Let every bill be paid for his schooling in the name of Jesus. We command finances to locate him now. We speak it into his life now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If God allows you to own three cars, would you, like, would you be okay with that? Yes. Eh? Okay. All right. Trust God, okay? Your life is going to be very interesting. In a good way. Okay, your school fees are paid. God bless you.
Just be wise, all right? Be wise. Leave your offering, everybody. If you want to um, sow, a, sow a seed tonight, you want to take an envelope. Tomorrow is the last night, and we're inviting you to 013. <laughs> oh, or two. Okay. One's for you, Prophet? Oh, okay. One for you, Mummy? Glory be to God. Anyone else? You want to give an offering? Mummy, who's Angela? You, who's Angela? Yes. Don't know? You say, you say she's going to meet this, she's the one that's going to meet a lady in Georgia? Okay. In the States? In Georgia. Okay, the name is Angela. Anyone else? Yes, I can take it tomorrow. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Ah, yeah. How are you doing? Where is Hosey? Where's Hosey? Husband. He's at work. How are you doing? You all right? The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Mm. Mm. Are you coming tomorrow night? Not coming? Hallelujah. Leave your offering, everybody. Okay, here's a, here's a key. You don't fold your money in church, okay? Your money has ears. So you, you open it so you can, so you can hear when you, when you call its name. So, Mumi, don't fold your money. Open it so the ears are not squashed. Okay? Sir, where's your daddy? Where's your father? He died. He died? Okay. Do you, do you know that your, your father died with a broken crown? You want me to explain what that means? Okay. Your father had a great destiny on his head. And something affected the crown on his head. When prophet was talking to you, I saw a crown on your head, but I saw there was a crack in it. So even though the calling is on you, there is something that is fighting you that does not want you to break forth into that thing. You know what I'm talking? Yeah. Something that wants you to struggle that you do not break forth easily. Okay? You will not die as, you, as how your father died. God will lift you and serve very well. The man of God says serve. Serve is by you or is by pastor. Is by you? It's by you. Serve and serve very well. Okay? Keep, keep your ears at your pastor's heart. Even that itself has a lot in it. Keep your ears at your pastor's heart. If you keep your ears there, you will gather more. <laughs> Leave your offering, everybody. Thank you, Lord. Father, bless the offering of your people today as they give tonight in Jesus' name. Please come and give your offering. Please come and give your offering. Oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Remember, three gold keys. Oh, oh, oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like Let us stand, everybody, as we get ready to close. We see. Oh, oh.
Kilon. All right. So since you won't be here tomorrow, you're sure? Positive? Okay. Um, Daddy, do you have a truck? Daddy. You have a truck? Yes. So, 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 softly. Give it up for the, for the best musicians in Barbados. You have a truck, Daddy? Huh? You have a van? What's the difference between a van and a truck? The size? Okay, in, in the United States, they call them, they call van trucks, right? In the United States? A open back? As in, those are pickups. Okay. Huh? You know him? Okay, okay, okay. All right, Daddy. I saw, I saw God doing something with you. Is I saw him giving you trucks. Okay? And I saw him moving you into that area of um, transporting things. I don't know what you do, but I know based on what I'm seeing that there's going to be settlement concerning a lot of things for you. What is it that you do, Daddy? What do you do? You cut stones. You do delivery. Okay. All right. So God's going to give you trucks to deliver. Somebody say Amen. Please invite somebody for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be powerful. The prophet and myself, we're going to be doubling up. I'm going to ask you a favor, all right? Um, can I borrow your shawl, Lady Kisha? Fold it as, as padded as you possibly can. I'm going to ask you to kneel, all right? Is that fine? Okay. She's, she's part of your ministry, Pastor. She's a part of your church. Okay, I don't know. I don't know who is who. You know. <laughs> I'm just asking. Who, which, who's your pastor, mommy? Uh -huh. Go again. Repeat. Repeat. Okay, what's the name of your pastor? Oh, all right. I don't know who that is, but the Lord bless him in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Okay. There is a new season of intercession that is going to put on you. Okay? Your assignment in your church is that you must stand as a gatekeeper. You know that. So, most of your visions is normally about church. You know that. Okay. You have a nice year style, you know. Hmm? What's for your birthday? When, is your, when was your birthday? Bird, it's coming Thursday. Okay, this will make sense then. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> uh, you say you're not going to be here tomorrow, right? Do you want something fresh? You want a fresh impartation? Okay. Um, some persons catch it already, right? You want, you want everything fresh? All right. Hey, well, listen here. No, that's the point. You're, you're positive? Okay. So if I mess up your, your birthday, your styles, you're fine. Okay, all right. Great, 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 great. great. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Basically, where are you living? Where do you live? Where do you live? <laughs> Here in St. James. How old are you? How old are you? You're 29. Do you own your own home? You want your own home? Eh? Before 30? You say, yes, yes I know. You say, you want, when, I, when will you be turning that age? When will you be turning 30? Next, next year, next year, you're one month early. If you had said me, you know, let me, that'd be all right. Okay. Do you believe in miracles? Huh? I know you have a lot of questions about a lot of things, you know. But do you believe in miracles? Okay. I want God to give you this miracle. All right? And I want God to, to really settle you with your emotions. 
and things that are around you currently. I want God to do, give you such a miracle that you will you'll be smiling from ear to ear. Okay? So, if you get that host, will it help a lot with a lot of things? Okay, if you get the host, will it help with a lot of things? The host. Yes, will it help with a lot of things? It will? Okay. All right. You want a studio? Yes. Eh? You want a studio? Okay. All right. Would you, like, would, you, would you like a studio in that house? Eh? Okay. All right. Hmm. 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 Okay. Are you... Are you... <laughs> it's like... It's, do, um, are you... Are you studying producing? Not right now. Were you before? Why did you stop? You need to, all right, your life, you see this thing you're doing, is not, a, is not a, a pastime, you know. It's you. So you have to do it because it's going to play a major role in your life. There is a, scent, there is a kind of earring that God has given to you. Don't drop music. All right? Okay? Hear me. Go back to studying producing. Father, thank you for your daughter. Let it rain. Are you married? Eh? All right, all right. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Father, let there be let there be fresh oil. Let there be a new season. Oh my God. They will ask you, why are you so wet? They will say, tell them it's a new season. Uh huh. Thank you, Lord. Listen to me. Look at me. Don't leave your church. Don't leave. Don't leave. Okay? There might not be any reason no, you know. <laughs> but don't leave. Open your hands. Rub them together. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, the rest of this is yours. When you go home, the Lord will tell you what to do with it. Okay? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hmm? Oh, your keys. <laughs> Father, bless Bless her in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Um, you'll be changing cars, all right? Huh? Okay, so you changed already? Okay. Amen. That on you. Huh? God bless you, okay? The Lord bless you, grace and peace. Don't, bass player. What's her name? S Sarah. Oh, you have my daughter's name. Don't, you know, you know, you know that it is my desire for my daughter to learn to play bass? Yes. Not true, wife, you like me, I tell? Yes. So, don't give up on that thing, okay? Don't give up. It's going to take you places, I guarantee you. Though people who don't see your value now, oh God, when they want to call you later, you will say to them, sorry, I'm too busy playing here and playing there. Amen. Amen. Let us stand, everybody. Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you for the potent word that your prophet has delivered. And we pray, O oh God, that you will bless every individual here. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the people of God say, Come here, quickly. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yes, you. Raise your mother. Raise your mother. You should be home. God is going to do something for your mother. I see him helping your mother. And I see God blessing you financially to also be a blessing to your mother. Okay? Sing. Sing and sing very well. God bless everybody. See you tomorrow. Please invite somebody. Please invite somebody. Thank you. God bless you. Musicians, take us out.